You're listening to the Daily Dose of Health and Wellness with Jen Reynolds. Fibro TV, making positive connections in the chronic illness community. My body hurts. The information on this podcast does not constitute medical advice and is for information and educational purposes only. We cannot answer patients' specific questions nor give any professional medical advice through email or via the website. Please consult your physician for specific treatment recommendations. Hello, my name is Jen Reynolds, creator and founder of FibroTV.com, and this is today's daily dose of health and wellness. My stomach hurts from my colon to my spleen, and my liver's turn. So, as you all know, I've been quite busy the last few months um, with some new things that I'm doing. And I haven't been podcasting as much, but I still wanted to do something for you guys. So now what I'm going to do is just do short little podcasts daily. And we'll just talk about um, one particular subject that has to do with health and wellness. And it'll be really short and sweet. And we can all get a little bit of useful information and uh, talk about it afterwards on FiberTV.com's Facebook. So let's start it off with foods that can help boost your mood. When you have a chronic illness or chronic pain, it's very easy to become down and depressed. In fact, it's a lot easier to be down and depressed than it is to be happy. You have to actually work on it. But there are actually foods out there that can help improve your mood. Turkey is one of those foods. It contains tryptophan. It's a neurotransmitter that boosts serotonin to help us feel good. Milk also does this as well, but make sure you get your sources from organic and don't eat the cured meats like turkey cured meat, like lunch meat. You need the real thing. That's the trick. Bananas boost dopamine and serotonin output, as well as avocados, whole grains, vegetables, any omega source of food, such as avocado, sardines, fresh cold water, salmon, flax, and chai seeds will help the brain balance out while reducing inflammation everywhere. So go get a banana and go bananas. Probiotic supplements and foods can help restore intestinal flora balance to create gut health to positively influence both neurological and psychological health issues. Um, How do you get this? You can either get it with a supplement. They have a lot of um, probiotic supplements now and all fermented foods and yogurts. But a lot of the popular brand of yogurts, even though they do contain some probiotic properties, contain high fructose corn syrup. Um, Yoplait is one of them that has that. So you want to be careful with that as well, because that can lead to other problems. Remember, a happy gut makes a happy body. Thanks for listening to the very first daily dose of health and wellness right here on FibroTV.com. You can find us over at Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash FibroTV, Twitter at Twitter.com forward slash FibroTV, and also on the World Wide Web at www.FibroTV.com. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for listening. I'm a victim of another migraine, my headache hurts. My mommy is sick, but she's the best mommy in the entire world. And I just want her to get better. Vibro TV, making positive connections in the chronic illness community. You can find us over at www.fibrotv.com.